My name is Joseph Beatty. The testimony I'm sharing is very personal because it happened to me. Sometimes God intervenes in your life when you least expect it, but you need him the most. Squire D. Rushnell, an American author and inspirational speaker, authored a series of books entitled, When God Winks. He coined the phrase, When God Winks, to describe an event or personal experience that could be identified as coincidental, but is so astonishing that it's seen as a sign of divine intervention, especially when perceived as an answer to prayer. I would like to share my God Wink story. I will not include the names of my doctors in order to ensure their privacy. I'm currently 68 years old with cardiovascular disease. In 2008, I experienced chest pains and shortness of breath. It was difficult for me to do yard work around my house without taking breaks due to fatigue. During an annual visit with my primary care physician, I explained my physical symptoms and he thought it necessary to conduct a stress test and this test clearly identified that I had a high probability of coronary artery disease. On November 17th of 2008, I had an angioplasty performed with the insertion of two stints. This procedure restored my blood flow and my health improved. Over the next 10 years, I worked to improve my health with an improvement in my diet and exercise routine. In 2017, I noticed a weakness impacting my legs. I should have recognized this early symptom of a reoccurring heart issue, but I didn't. I thought more leg work was needed in my exercise routine at the gym. This helped some, but my leg issue did not go away. In 2018, during a visit to Israel, I experienced chest pains with shortness of breath again. But I ignored this incident and attributed it to the stress of travel. In July of 2019, my wife and I went on a short-term missions trip to the jungles of Belize. Shortly into this trip, my shortness of breath and chest pain returned. A medical nurse among my team members gave me a physical and determined that my activity must be limited. I remember praying, please God, don't let me die in Belize. I tearfully shared with my team that my mission days were over. Shortly after arriving home, my wife and I traveled to Austin, Texas to attend the wedding of my nephew. While at the wedding venue in Spicewood, Texas, I experienced chest pains and shortness of breath serious enough that my wife thought I should go to the hospital but the nearest hospital was over 50 miles away. It took about 20 minutes for the episode to pass, but I was fatigued with weakness in my legs for the rest of the event. When I got home from my road trip, the time had come for me to see my doctor. 
He thought my coronary artery disease had returned. Therefore, he ordered another stress test, and this test found that I had a high probability of a coronary blockage. Just prior to my appointment with my cardiologist, I experienced another episode of serious chest pain and shortness of breath. It was serious enough that my wife again thought I should go to the hospital. On October 31st of 2019, I saw the head cardiologist who reviewed my test results and confirmed that stints were warranted, but he also warned me that a full open chest bypass surgery could be necessary. My doctor cautioned me to refrain from strenuous activity until after the surgery. I informed Pastor Lance Lowell of Neighborhood Church in Modesto, California of my impending surgical procedure. My church now joined me in prayer. On Sunday, November 3rd of 2019, I asked my home group to pray for me before the surgery. Together, we joined in prayer beseeching God to form a natural bypass around the blockage. On Tuesday, November 5th of 2019, the surgeon performing my angiogram asked me for what type of stint he should insert, if possible. But he also informed me that a surgical open chest bypass could be necessary. I was taken to the operating room and given a local anesthetic. During the procedure, I heard the doctor questioning what he saw, and shortly I heard him say to close me up. Shortly after I arrived back into my room, the doctor informed me that my one vein was 100% blocked and collateral veining had formed around the blockage. He also said that my blood flow was normal and no other procedure was necessary. I was stunned. The very thing my home group prayed for came to pass. God healed me. On November 26th, of 2019, I had my follow-up visit with the head cardiologist. When I entered his examination room, his nurse interviewed me and asked how the stints were doing. I informed her that I had no stints inserted, but collateral veining formed around the blockage. She sat quietly listening and then said that she had heard of this type of veining happening on one other occasion. The doctor came in and showed me the video of my procedure. He pointed to the blockage and said it was 100% blocked. He paused for a moment, then pointed to the collateral veining and said, this should not be there. My doctor paused again and said once more that this veining should not be there. He looked at me and asked in a quizzical way, How are you feeling? I told him that even though nothing was done, my chest pains and my shortness of breath were gone, and especially the weakness in my legs was gone. He looked at me and said, How do you explain this? I told him that I believe in divine providence. 
my doctor spoke softly and said something about God, but I couldn't hear what he said. He looked at me in the eye and said, well, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Since I have shared my testimony, I have some detractors who question the possibility that God healed me and my collateral veining was just the healing process of the human body. Should this be true, then we should see much less surgery and more collateral veining. Does collateral veining occur? Yes, but it doesn't happen that often. In any case, I give all glory to God for His divine healing. I don't know why God did this miracle. Things like this don't happen to me. I have served the Lord for 45 years, and I have seen the miraculous happen to other people. But it never happened to me, until now. Could my cardiac event be described as a coincidence? It's possible, but it could easily be an answer to divine prayer. This is the classic definition for a God wink. Think about it. Maybe you need a God wink. Now might be the time. If it happened to me, it can happen to you.